Talk to me a little bit about growing up in Richmond and you know, becoming involved in the arts. Well, growing up in Richmond, as I said before, I grew in Churchill, and my involvement there was with a lot of uh, kids. I would draw cartoons and so forth while we got into it that way, I suppose. In high school, there was an, uh, art, an art teacher who came from New Jersey. The second half of my senior year, suddenly we had an art teacher. His name was Stafford Evans, who I just latched on to just about. And he opened my eyes in so many ways. Also introduced me to the Virginia Museum. I did not know that there was a museum in, this, in Virginia or in, in Richmond. And uh, he kind of opened the doors into my having uh, a class or being involved in a class. But I did get a chance to see a lot of things and discover a lot of uh, the collection. I focused a lot on the uh, portraits, uh, the early Dutch portraits and so forth. And I um, was very impressed by all kinds of little things as kids would be at that time about them having every little hair on the coat painted, etc. Now, you received several fellowships from the museum. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about the fellowships, and I know that you used one of them ultimately to attend Hampton University. Yes. Well, I think I used the very first one to attend uh, Hampton. I went there because I was basically directed there, and I'm very, very glad that I did go there. Some of the later fellowships, because I think I had about two or three, uh, were used really to continue my education there. What is the scene itself? The scene itself, actually, uh, on the right-hand side of the viaduct going towards Church Hill. And I used to see smokestacks out there. And one time I was crossing the bridge, and I used to walk across the off and uh, I remember it was becoming dusk, and I saw these smokestacks, and I was refer to them as still whispering, because I always thought of at a certain time of day you could see them billowing with smoke, and they were busy, and they were all, it was such a serene, quiet thing, and such a noble thing, the silhouette of these. They begin to have personalities almost, and character, and that's, I think, what I tried to capture in those. And so they were like heroes in there to me, in a way. There's a nobility in something very common. I think that's one of the ideas. It's, it's what I really tried to have. Uh, and that could be anywhere except for me is very specifically from Richmond. <laughs>